Hey everybody, Mike Iaconelli. Welcome to a brand new In The Shop. We've got a great one for you today. We're gonna to be talking about a super simple rig for springtime bass fishing. Before we get into it, do me a favor. Subscribe to my channel. If you're watching this and you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, subscribe to the channel. We've got great content every single week. But let's get into this video. And when I think of springtime bass fishing, I think of fish that are in transition. Bass that are moving from where they wintered to where they're gonna spawn, and then when they're done spawning, back to where they're gonna summer. Transitional fish. And because of that, the fish are on the move. There's a lot of different baits that could work. But I'm gonna show you one simple rig to target and catch those transitional fish. And it is the Tokyo rig. The Tokyo rig. All right, stop for a second. I know what you're thinking. Yeah, I've heard of the Tokyo rig before. That's that rig that has a big giant weight on it and you put a punch lure on it and you use it for punching through mats. Absolutely, the Tokyo rig is great for that. But I'm going to show you a Tokyo rig that is great for springtime bass fishing. In fact, I'm going to show you two ways to rig it to intercept those spring fish no matter where they are in their route, okay? First one is a Tokyo rig using it as a search bait for fish that are moving, right? For when you're fishing in the spring and you don't know where they're at, you're trying to find them, you're searching for them. I'm gonna show you a Tokyo rig with this EWG hook that's phenomenal. And we're gonna use a different style bait, okay? All right, first things first, VMC Tokyo rig, here it goes. Do everything right out of the pack. If I can get this thing open. This is the two watt. EWG, right there, 2 watt EWG. And when you look at a Tokyo rig, it's a really cool, neat little concept, right? Look at it. We've got a barrel swivel, two-way barrel swivel, to a welded ring. On that welded ring is a free-swinging EWG hook, 2 watt. And below that is a rigid wire that's about three inches long, okay? Open end, and that's on a swivel. All right, so here we go. First thing we're gonna add to this EWG Tokyo rig is a weight. And for when I'm using this technique, I like anything from a quarter ounce up to a three quarter, but a three eighths or a half ounce tungsten weight is the deal, okay? Remember, springtime, we're searching, we don't know where those fish are at. We're gonna get our Tokyo rig, and there's that open wire, okay? And we're gonna add this tungsten weight to that wire. But look what we're gonna do. Remember, I wanna show you again. Here's that Tokyo rig that you knew about where the point of the weight is facing down, right? Punching through mats, that's great. But we're gonna use this Tokyo rig in the spring to search. So watch this, you ready? Three eighths tungsten weight. I'm gonna put it on that wire so that the point is facing toward the hook. Okay, I'm gonna show you here in a second. We've got that open wire. The great thing about the Tokyo rig, it's so easy to assemble and disassemble on the fly. I'm gonna get my pliers. I'm gonna make a bend, just a little R bend in that wire. I like to bend it down and I actually like to crimp it like that. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Boom, boom. Now we've got that tungsten worm weight on there, but the point is facing up, not down. So now we have the wide side of that weight very important, I'm gonna show you in a second. All right, next thing is bait choice. For this technique in the spring, you can use a lot of different baits, but remember, we're searching with this. 
So a swim bait is unbelievable on this EWG Tokyo rig. Um, boot, boot tail style swim baits. This is a, a Berkeley Power Bait Power Swimmer. I love this size. It's the 3 8. It's kind of a, a middle size. And I'm going to get it and I'm going to Texas rig it on that 2 or 3 aught EWG hook. This is the 2 aught. It's going to do a simple, simple Texas rig, right? Look how perfect that 2 aught fits in that 3 8 uh, Berkeley Power Swimmer. All right. Now look, we've got a swim bait rigged on a Tokyo rig. And in the spring, when those fish are moving, they're moving, they're trying to head to their spawning areas, they're sliding along break lines, they're stopping on points, on secondary points. You don't, you don't know exactly where they're at. You're searching for them. I cast this Tokyo rig out and I slowly reel it in along the bottom. Okay, so think about what it's doing. That weight, three eighths, half ounce, three quarter, whatever it is, hits the bottom. And as you start to reel it, that swim bait is staying just two or three inches off the bottom, and that weight is maintaining bottom contact the whole time. It's creating disturbance, kicking up dust. You're able to feel the cover down there. A lot of times I reel it. If I feel it hit something, boom, boom, a single rock or a log, I'll stop it. Then I'll pick it back up. And with this Tokyo rig on this EWG hook in the spring with a swim bait, I can cover a ton of water and find the fish. They're hard to find sometimes in the spring. This allows me to cover water and find them. Once again, when you rig this way, you want the point up and the wide side down because as it comes along the bottom, I want the broad bigger side of that weight to kick up debris. I don't want the point. I don't want the point burying in. I want the wide side kicking up debris, okay? So rigged on a big weight Tokyo style, but I got another one for you in the spring. Same rig, little bit different system, okay? Now, I'm gonna show you the finesse Tokyo rig for after we've found those spring fish, okay? So keep in mind, remember, we're using this to find them. We're reeling it almost like a wobble head, just reeling it real slow on the bottom, dragging it, pumping it. Then we, we catch a fish, we catch two fish, we find the fish, we find a point where the fish live. I'll keep fishing this until the bite slows down and then I'll pick up this Tokyo rig. Same system, we're gonna rig it a little different with a different bait. Here it goes, you ready? This is the VMC Tokyo Finesse Nico hook on this one, all right? So same thing, take it out of the pack, show you what this dude looks like. Same exact setup, same exact setup. Two-way barrel swivel, welded ring, this time, we've got a Finesse Nico hook. This happens to be a number one. We got that same three inch open wire on a swivel, right? Very rigid. And on this one, I'm gonna use a lighter weight and I'm gonna rig the weight the very traditional style, okay? So now, I'm gonna use a lighter tungsten weight for this Finesse Tokyo rig. I'm going to use an eighth up to about a five sixteenths, but a three sixteenths or a quarter is really an unbelievable size for this, okay? So three sixteenths ounce VMC tungsten worm weight. Now, now that I'm targeting fish more, I found the fish, I know they're on that point. Or if it's later in the spring and the fish start bedding and you can see them, you know where they're at, this is the deal. I'm gonna put that same weight, tungsten weight, on that wire, but now I wanna rig it so that the point is facing away, so the broad side is down, okay? So now, point up this time. Gonna get that same pliers. It's the great thing about Tokyo Rig, so easy to assemble these. Make that little R bend, 
All right, close that wire off, just like that. Okay, now when you look at it, look at that. Now we have our finesse Tokyo rig. There's that finesse Nico hook. There's our little, little wire. And the point of the weight is facing down. This is gonna be better for target fishing, in and out, that point, that specific point, that piece of cover. I know that fish is by that clump of grass. It's on a spawning bed. I want the point down. The bait for this one, because this is more of a finesse technique, it's gonna be a little different. Instead of the swim bait, we're gonna use a straight tail worm. Anything four to six inches, uh, bottom hopper is a great one. This is an amazing one for this system. It's the Berkeley Powerbait Flute Worm, and I have that smaller size. This is the four seven flute worm. And I take that flute worm and basically gonna do my same little Texas rig on that Nico hook. I'm gonna start with the fat end. I'm gonna go in about an eighth of an inch. I'm gonna pop it out. I'm gonna bring that flute all the way around to that little keeper barb. And I'm just gonna make a nice little Texas rig. And there I have my finesse Nico. In the spring, after you found them with this, or if you know they're by a target or if they're on beds, I can come back and play cleanup with this rig in the spring. I usually fish this on light casting or medium action spinning. I throw it around those areas and that little finesse tail on that, that system, that Tokyo system, it's unbelievable. Remember that the, the key to this Tokyo rig is that the weight is on the bottom because the wire is rigid, right? If you were to try a drop shot with this, it's not rigid, right? It's all fluorocarbon or mono and the, the bait just sinks. But that wire is rigid. So when I throw it in there and I shake it in place, it stays two or three inches off the bottom, right? Rigid wire. Here's the other benefit. That hook, because it's on a ring, look at this, 360 degrees up, down, side to side. And when I shake that little finesse worm on that finesse Nico Tokyo rig, it just goes crazy. So this is an unbelievable combo in the spring. You've gotta have it. It's the Tokyo rig, rig two different ways, right? Look at this. Search style with a swim bait, Tokyo EWG. Finesse style with the straight tail worm, Tokyo Finesse Nico. Same rig, rig two different ways to target spring bass. I hope you enjoyed this video. Put this in your arsenal. You're gonna catch a lot of fish if you do. Stop for a second. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, mash that button right down there, see it? Subscribe to my channel. We're gonna get great content to you every single week. If you're already subscribed, do me a favor and tell your fishing buddies about Mike Iaconelli Fishing on YouTube. We're gonna help you learn some new techniques. Use this one in the spring, you're gonna get more fish. Bye.